Hey everybody. Okay, so right now I am on Q's channel, YouTube channel, because I want to talk a little bit about the Barbie movie. Um, as I think everybody knows at this point in time that I do have my own YouTube channel, but it's mostly just my cooking shorts. And so anytime that I want to do a review whether it's a spoiler or a non-spoiler review i will most likely always ask q if i can just get on his channel so that i can talk about it so i am like super super excited to talk about the barbie movie so my birthday's on monday um i started celebrating it tonight and so i started off by watching the barbie movie with my friends and we saw it tonight and it was really 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 good I didn't know what to expect, but um, it was surprisingly way, way better than what I thought it was going to be. So, this video is going to be a um, non-spoiler review. Um, I don't want to spoil it for anybody in case you still haven't watched it because I believe it just came out Friday. And so, um, yeah, it was way, way better than expected. So, first of all... Let me start off by saying that I was like previously when we would go to the movies, I would like see the preview for the Barbie movie, but I didn't actually want to watch it just because I grew up playing with Barbies, but not like a whole, whole lot. So it wasn't like when I saw it that I automatically wanted to see it. However, once I realized that two of my favorite actresses, which is going to be uh, Issa Rae from the HBO Insecure show, and then also America Farah. I'm like a huge America Farah fan from like Ugly Betty to Real Women Have Curves, like all of the movies that she's been in, like I just love her as an actress. So when I found out that the two of them were gonna be in it, I was like, there's no way I'm not watching this movie. So this is kind of how <laughs> this movie kind of somehow weaved into my birthday plans um okay so i want to start off by saying that um i was hearing mixed reviews before i went to watch this movie i'm gonna start off by saying that if you're in a relationship with somebody that is like more dominating like a more dominant personality I would say don't go watch this as like a date movie um just um go with your friends <laughs> to watch this movie um your your group of girlfriends if you want to see this movie um if you if you have seen the movie you know why I'm kind of saying that because it's very very much women empowerment um, that's definitely the theme of this movie, but it's done in a very mean way. <laughs> and I'm assuming that that's because of all of the recent things that are going on with women, um, all of the abortion bans and um, women nowadays having less rights than what our moms had. Um, so I understand why it has like this kind of like mean, a little bit hateful undertone. Um, but it's just it's just wrong and I'm sorry if I give a little bit of spoilers here and there I'm awful I'm awful at doing um, non-spoilers because I always like to I talk with a lot of detail and I tend to like to do that so I'm gonna try my hardest not to do any spoilers but yeah so if you're in a relationship and um, um, just probably don't go watch watch this movie because um, yeah just skip out on that okay so I want to start by saying that um, Issa Rae and America Farah looked absolutely beautiful in this um, in this movie. Um, kind of the things that I really really loved about the movie is the outfits. All of the outfits are really cute. A lot of pink. As you can see, I'm wearing my pink shirt right now. I wore my pink blazer. Me and all my fr friends dressed up um, in pink but it's definitely um the outfits are phenomenal just like if you were playing with a barbie so the outfits are really really cute um so 
there was a couple of outfits that I really, really liked that America Farrow was wearing. Um, the first one was when she first goes into Barbie land. Maybe that's a mini spoiler, sorry. Um, but she's wearing like this polka dotted like pink shirt and it's almost like a blouse, a little bit similar to this blouse. And it's just so, so cute. I haven't seen a shirt like that and it's just like a whole bunch of polka dots of like pink and different like light uh, minty colors. So it's really, really cute. Um, but my favorite thing that she was wearing is a little bit more towards the end of the movie. And it's like this lavender, like this light lavender, I'm sorry, this light lavender um, blazer. And it's just so, so cute. Like when I saw that, I was like, I have to look somewhere and try to find <laughs> that blazer. I'm probably going to try to find it. Okay. Um, this movie also, um, like I said, it's definitely a movie for women, but what I would say is that it has, I didn't, ex I, I expected it to be like quirky and kind of nerdy and, you know, it's, it's Barbies, like, you know, how deep could it get? But because they do put that, um, kind of like the, the women's empowerment, like, um, women's suffrage, like th those different type of like points into it, I feel like, um, it, be, it gets really emotional for women. It talks a lot about like how difficult it is to be a woman and how um, like no matter how hard you try or what you do, like you'll always be judged. Um, you, people will always be critical of you. Like you'll always, it'll just, it's just really hard to be a woman, a woman. And they basically highlight that in this movie um, almost to where like, it's like exhausting and like somewhat overwhelming. So um so yeah so that was it, it gets like really really emotional um yeah and that's all I'm gonna say about that okay what else do I want to say another person who was in this movie that I really really like um I think his name is Michael uh Sierra and he is from the super bad movie <laughs> he's just as um dorky and nerdy in this Barbie movie as he probably has been in every other movie like super bad this is the end all of those movies so um so he was really good um and then the leading actress in this movie I know she was um um how did I forget her name sorry I know she's the leading actress I should know her name uh yeah Margaret Robbie um very very pretty lady um she um almost does look like the real Barbie honestly she's like this like very slim blonde figure or whatever but um there's definitely a twist to her beauty and they really do kind of um talk about beauty standards in society and how um that's not the beauty standard in society is the way that she looks because she does resemble a real Barbie so much and so that's kind of a whole different dynamic to the movie so anyways um the movie is very very conscious woke whatever the words are that we use but it's also very good um and very emotional and there's also a lot of like psychological um aspects to it that I wasn't expecting it to be um there's a little it's a little inappropriate here and there definitely not a kid movie <laughs> we saw some kids in the theater we're like uh <laughs> so definitely not a kid movie it's not um yeah it's more of a, a adult women empowerment whatever so anyways um I am still gonna give my rating for this I don't think there's anything else I want to say about it but um just that I really really did like it and I li liked it a lot more than what I expected to like it so um for this movie, I am going to give it a, what do I want to give this movie? I'm trying to think, I didn't think about, usually I like have my rating ready. Um, I'm just going to give it a, a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I really liked it. Um, and the only, the only reason I give it like a 9 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10 is just because it is there are some parts in there that are just like very very cheesy and corny and stuff like that but it's still really really good um the visual effects are really good and it's just really good um okay so I think that that's all I want to say about it but yes definitely recommend that you go out and see this movie but again 
probably just go see it with your girlfriends. <laughs> and um, the other thing that I want to say is that um, you can follow my cooking channel, um, my YouTube cooking channel, and that description is always, or I'm sorry, that link will always be in the description down below. And then let me see if I can remember what Q says at the end of his videos. If you like this video, make sure that you always share it and subscribe it. And I'm going to catch you guys later. <laughs> I think that's what he says. Oh, I should have it down by now, right? Okay. Bye, everybody.